Hi everybody, it's Jennifer McCreeth. It's the weekend, January 22, 2022. And I hope the title gets some attention, but uh, I really am serious. Trans unemployment and trans underemployment is a very, very serious issue. And with all this going on in the world these days, it seems it's been forgotten about. But let's, if you take a look, I think the problem is nobody's actually done the statistics on this, but realistically, I probably either have friends or acquaintances with at least a thousand trans people all over the world, most of whom are in Canada or the United States. And compared to any other minority group that I'm aware of, it's definitely the most blatantly underappreciated in terms of employment. Most trans people are well educated. A lot of us, including me, have a university degree. However, the fact that there's discrimination, a lot of us are either unemployed or underemployed. How is this costing government millions? Well, if you're unemployed, you're drawing on social assistance, whether it's EI or welfare or some other type of government benefit. Another thing that's common for people who are underemployed or unemployed, not just in the trans community, but everyone, is the stress associated with debt. And the stress can lead to anxiety, it can lead to depression, which means what? It means we're going to the doctor and we're getting pills antidepressants or whatnot we're drawing on the healthcare system when in reality it really doesn't need to be that way furthermore you give me a job that allows me to uh, maximize my potential not only will we stop in many cases we won't be as depressed or anxious anymore but uh, We'll actually be paying taxes. Before I came out as trans, I had a really good job. I was a senior policy analyst for the government of Newfoundland and Labrador. I was making close to $60,000 salary, and that was 15 years ago. Right now, that job pays $70,000. Um, I'm not sure what the income tax bracket is, but uh, there's a lot of taxable opportunities there, government. But because I can't get a job at that level, you're not able to collect the tax. It's a win-win for everyone. Not just trans people, but any underemployed group. And it can easily be resolved. There's still discrimination out there. You can put an act or a law. You can write down discrimination as illegal, but you actually have to teach people and demonstrate what that means. This fear of the unknown. What if I hire Jennifer, the trans woman? How are people going to react? How are my other staff going to react? How are my clients going to react? Well, times are starting to change. We're, we're starting to see more and more stories about this. But there's still, especially the people at the top of the food chains in these organizations tend to be, they tend to skew on the older side of things and perhaps on the conservative side of things. That's another issue. We're barely able to get into these organizations, but very, very few climb up to management. All right, I get it. There's only maybe 1% of society, maybe two, that's trans, but you go to any organization, public or private sector, what percentage of their management staff are trans. It's not one, it's not two, it's probably 0.0001%. So come on, government, at all levels, we could use some help here. We're not asking for anything unreasonable here. We just want fair and equal access to these jobs so that we can contribute to society and be a part of it. Makes sense to me.
You want me to drop a business case? Maybe I'll do that. I'll, I'm going to openly start tracking statistics of trans people. We're going to map it out. Education, work experience, uh, jobs, salaries, unemployment rates, etc. And I'll demonstrate to you how much tax money is being left off. And it's getting really frustrating because it doesn't need to be this way. Come on, Justin Trudeau. I remember you kept saying it's 2015. We need gender balance here. Well, it's not just male, female. There's trans cis issues here that need to be looked at. Why aren't there any trans members of parliament? How many trans people are working in the prime minister's office? How many out trans people? Let's let's uh, talk about that. I shouldn't have to hide who we are. And yes, I'm one of those many who's currently unemployed right now. And it seems every time I apply for a job and get an interview, I finish in second place. That's not just a coincidence. It's, it's not just a pattern or a trend, it's reality. It's 15 years of discrimination, and I've had enough of it. Something needs to be done. Please do it.